welcome to Daily Debrief from People's Dispatch. I am Pragya and today we talk about a Greek court overturning the seizure of an Iranian flagged ship's cargo. A congressional panel delivers a report on the capital siege. In our first story, the cargo of an Iranian flagged oil tanker seized off the coast of Greece will have to be returned to Iran. A Greek court has ruled in favor of Iran in the case. It began in May when the United States partly seized the oil shipment after Greece impounded the ship. It was done in the name of US and EU sanctions against Russia. Abdul from People's Dispatch is here to tell us more about this. So, Abdul, this was an attempt to implement sanctions, to enforce sanctions, but it seems to have backfired on both the United States and the government of Greece. Because uh, the way it is done, it is, uh, first of all, it is not a Russian uh, flagged ship. It was Iranian flagged ship. And given the larger context in which the US-Iran relationship is operating, and also given the history of Iran and uh, US relationship, this kind of incidents have happened before. Uh, what we call the oil, uh, seizure of the tankers and seizure of the oil, US, uh, Iran has called it uh, stealing of oil. That right. This has happened uh, when the similar, uh, Iranian ships were going to Venezuela uh, last and last last year. Uh, Iranian ships were going to, again, uh, was seized in Gibraltar uh, last year, last last year, sorry, 2019. So given the history, uh, the claims that this was to impose sanctions uh, does not have much credit. And therefore, uh, of course, it has to had to become uh, the way it, it uh, turned out to be. Iran Iranians retaliated and seized two of the uh, ships uh, uh, with the Greek uh, ship ships in the Mediterranean. Uh, sorry, in the Persian Gulf. Right. So uh, basically, if we see uh, uh, the crew of the uh, ship which was seized was Russian. Right. And and therefore. Uh, the, the the lower court of uh, in Greece claimed that this is basically uh, legitimate to kind of uh, seize the ship and take away the oil, given the fact that the, there are sanctions against Russia, mm -hmm. both against Russia and against uh, Iran. Right. Imposed by European Union and imposed by the US. But uh, uh, according to Iranian claims, this has nothing to do with uh, 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 those sanctions. This is primarily an attempt by the US to basically impose its hegemony on uh, Iranian uh, trade uh, because uh, uh, the, the tanker which was going did not violate, as per the Iranian claims, did not violate any uh, sanctions because it was not a Russian ship. Yeah. All right. So can you tell us how it, how it is possible that the United States is seizing cargo from a ship from Iran? from an Iranian ship which is carrying essential goods, how is this even possible? That is how the international politics is. Basically, if you see, as I said before, uh, US is, has been doing this for quite long time now. Uh, ever since the Trump withdrew uh, from the uh, Iranian nuclear deal, uh, they seized uh, Iranian ships in uh, Mediterranean, they seized Iranian oil in the Atlantic Ocean, and in a, uh, 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 even there was there were attempts to seize Iranian uh, ships inside in the Persian Gulf as well. So U.S. is doing it, and uh, given its military might, given its uh, uh, influence, uh, uh, its bases across the globe, uh, uh, Greece is a NATO ally. Uh, um, uh, again, the, uh, in the when we talk about uh, Persian Gulf, Saudi Arabia and UAE and others are also very close allied to United States of uh, America. Then, in the uh, uh, in different other parts of the world, the seas are primarily controlled by the U.S. naval bases. So there are multiple naval bases of U.S. all across the world, and it has allies all across the world. So it uses those bases, uses the allies to dictate uh, the world's navigation. And the, given the fact that uh, US is talking, uh, US is one of those countries which also talks about uh, 
फ्री नेविगेशन राइट टू फ्री नेविगेशन टॉक्स अबाउट चाइना हाउ चाइना इज इंटरफेयरिंग इन फ्री नेविगेशन वी हैव नेवर सीन चाइना सीजिंग एनी शिप्स इन द ईस्ट चाइना सी साउथ चाइना सी बट वी सी यू एस डूइंग इट क्वाइट ऑफ एंड ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड सो दिस इज बेसिकली डन बिकॉज ऑफ the military might the us has and the influences us has so this has nothing to do with international law this has nothing to do with uh, uh, the sanctions and uh, 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 efforts for uh, of making peace this is basically an assertion of the hegemonic uh, and imperialist uh, power of united states of america all right abdul thanks for that update In our next story we look at the Capitol Hill siege of January last year a US congressional committee has ruled it was an attempted coup the committee has found it was all US president Donald Trump's doing mobs of supporters of the former president had stormed the building that houses the Senate and Congress and rioted for several hours on 6 January 2021 it happened soon after Trump addressed his supporters and Abdul will tell us more about the report Abdul it appears that the one year long uh, investigation is over and the report is out but it seems as if there was a conspiracy or a coup attempt what do you think about this I think uh, I, first of all the investigation is still going on the, this is a part of the investigation the congressional committee has presented its initial findings in the congress and now there are hearings going on which is also part of the larger investigation so uh, i think it is premature to say that investigation is complete but the initial uh, 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 report which is presented in the congressional hearing does indicate about a uh, uh, coup it, it uses strong words like coup earlier it was like uh, uh, trump's attempts to basically remain in power trump's attempt to basically not hand over the constitutionally mandated power to the an elected government right. and so on and so uh, trump's attempt to undermine the uh, institutions of us dem- us democracy and so on and so forth now they are they have started calling it coup basically it it seems that there is a political shift uh, within the republican party because two of the members in the uh, uh, congressional committee are republicans and therefore there is a larger shift in the initial phases when they were they were still hopeful of uh, reuniting under the leadership of trump and kind of uh, co- contesting next elections in his leadership now i think by now it has been settled that this is not going to happen therefore there is a vocal opposition of trump within the republican party and that's why you see such strong words uh, they are agreeing to such strong words in the uh, democratic uh, dominant panel uh, the committee so uh, i think this is apart from the legal and constitutional aspects we should also be uh, focusing on the larger political aspects within the the equations within the republican party and equations with, between the republicans and democratic so uh, in that context uh, this uh, report should be uh, the the initial findings should be read this uh, report also talks about uh, uh, that that the trump did try to there was a plan behind it what mm-hmm. happened uh, on january 6 there was a plan and it was not a spontaneous uh, event right. uh, they they are quoting the evidences of this speech uh, the uh, the evidence given by uh, the ex attorney general uh, in the during the hearing also is very uh, incriminate incriminating against trump uh, because he says that he at the time then he was the attorney general of under trump's presidency he had advised him not to uh, do things which he did not to claim that elections were rigged and still he did claim so uh, all given all those things it seems that uh, by and large uh, the indication is that trump's uh, political future will be by and large there is an attempt to kind of uh, finish it off Okay so with all this going on does it mean that uh, there will be some accountability for Trump uh, uh that is difficult to say at this moment uh, uh as i said this is the there in the media reports whatever we have uh, come across they are all saying that uh, 
the, there is an attempt by the Biden administration and the, uh, uh, the uh, Democrats and Republicans who are not uh, with, the Trump, with Trump uh, to kind of, uh, why did they agree for a publicly broadcasted hearing? Right. That this is one of the hearings, there are six more hearings to come. It means there will be a consistent attempt to kind of uh, talk about uh, the assaults, uh, Trump's uh, systematic assaults on U.S. democracy, quote-unquote U.S. democracy. It means that this will act as a campaign, as a public uh, uh, opinion affair, uh, affair uh, uh, against Trump. So that this is this has this proceeding, the investigation and the congressional hearing is more of a political campaign against Trump, whatever popularity he has, or even if those who are popular, they may not. Uh, basically, to kind of uh, keep them on defensive. So okay. it more it looks like more as a political strategy at this moment uh, than a, a serious attempt to establish accountability as you were uh, asking. Because accountability, if there is really a, a, an attempt to establish accountability, it, it will be difficult. The fact that uh, everyone knows that is a, a logical link between what Trump was saying and what happened on January 6th. Right. But it, 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 legally it is very difficult to establish that Trump was part of that conspiracy which basically led to the riots. Okay. and the death of uh, uh, the officers in, uh, in involved in defending the Capitol Hill. So I think given the legal problems and given the, uh, uh, the real objectives, mm -hmm. whatever, speculative, uh, uh, whatever the speculations are, I think it is uh, not about accountability as much as it is about uh, uh, gaining some political mileage out of it. All right. Abdul, thanks a lot for that update. And that is all we have for today. Thank you for watching Daily Debrief. Please come back to us tomorrow and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And for more updates and analysis from around the world, visit peoplesdispatch.org.